I thought before I put this in a case, I should find out how the free running oscillator here, it's not free running, it's controlled by a 27 megahertz crystal, compares with my 10 megahertz temperature controlled crystal oscillator output. Now that 10 megahertz outputs it presently hooked to this frequency meter which appears to be 29 and a half hertz high assuming that the TXCO is actually 10 megahertz and now what I'm going to do is swap inputs to this frequency meter from the TXCO standard to this. So I'm guessing it's about 200 hertz low. It is about 200 hertz low. Next thing I'm going to do is uh, hook a GPS receiver to this. I've installed the GPS module, that is I've wired it up. We have three lights on the GPS receiver. Uh, power light, data transmission light, and a heartbeat light. This provides the one pulse per second that the clock now will interpret and correct the internal oscillator in the signal generator. Now here is the frequency meter hooked up to my TCXO standard. This should be reading 10 megahertz. As it is, it's reading about 29 and a half hertz high. I'll reconnect the input to the signal generator to the output of this unit here. And you see it's almost exactly the same as my TCXO standard. Bear in mind this frequency meter I've never bothered to zero. So this error has been present since day one. About 30 hertz out of 10, th out of, uh, 10 million. But it's the same 30 hertz whether it's the QRP labs generator or the uh, TCXO. It's been a little less than 24 hours and the way I understand it, it makes a, at first a gross correction based on the pulse. Then it goes through iterations trying to get closer and closer to the uh, exact frequency. Sort of like taking, moving forward in jumps half the distance to the wall each jump. You never quite ever reach to the wall, but you get to the point where you're so goddamn close you can't tell. You're not touching the wall. Those iterations probably take time. Just when it stabilized, I don't know. We're back on the uh, TCXO standard. So now I believe this little QRP labs signal source has less than hertz. That is less than one hertz. So this is practically a 
TCXO except I can vary the frequency. So remember we had about 30 Hertz the air of this was about 30 hertz at 10 megahertz. We're now at 20 megahertz so I would expect a 61 60 error. So if we go to we get an error of 90. That error is inside this frequency meter. At this point all that's left is to put the signal generator in a case and I'll probably put the GPS receiver in a separate case and make a, a jump or two connect them. The receiver is powered from the signal generator. Four wire connection. So hopefully you'll come back for the next and I think the last segment of this little signal generator. So give me a thumbs up. Ask any questions you want. Thank you.